In this video, I'm gonna share with you my top three study techniques that will help you ace your next exam. If you're new to the channel, my name's Matt. I'm a New South Wales chemistry teacher who makes videos on ways to be better every single day. The first study technique that I really recommend for every single subject is you make flashcards. Flashcards are really, really good for things like definitions and flow charts and little bits of information that you have to remember. Now, the reason why flashcards are so useful is because they utilize something known as active recall. Essentially, what active recall is when you literally retrieve information from your brain into your working memory to allow for you to process and use this information. Now, when you're studying for an exam or you're trying to study for an assignment, Active Recall allows for you to see whether or not you have this piece of information stored in your long-term memory, or if you actually need to go back and actually revise it. For example, inside of science, let's say you need to remember that mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. And so the way that you wanna practice this in your own time is you look at the front side and you say, okay, mitochondria is, and I try and actively recall this. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. And I'm gonna turn it around. Was it right? Yes, it was right. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it in a pile where I have right and wrong. Then essentially what you wanna do over a period of time is you want to consistently practice, giving a little bit of time between each of your practice or something known as space repetition. I'll come back and do this pile of flashcards again. Mitochondria, powerhouse of the cell. I'll do that a couple times throughout the week until I fully committed it to my memory. After that, it's gonna stay in my long-term memory and I'm probably never going to forget it unless I never touch that subject again in like three to four years. But if you consistently revise and spatially repeat it and you actively recall all of your information, you're going to find that you can memorize a lot more and a lot better rather than just reading through the textbook. But I must say this, flashcards aren't the be all end all. And the reason why I say that is because it's kind of limited because you can't actually memorize or remember long bits of content, you can only really remember very short bursts, definitions, um, formulas. You can't really apply any information, which is probably more important than just memorizing everything. And I know there's going to be people out there who say, no, that's not what school's about. School's about rote memorization. That's how the exams are. That's not really how it's supposed to be. And you probably shouldn't do that. If you have pieces of content where you have to memorize things, flashcards are really, really useful. The second study technique that I recommend recommend that you try requires at least one friend that does not include yourself. You tell me, I um, am not your friend. No. Uh, I'm gonna go. Um, okay. Um, Best of luck with everything, but um, I think I'm just gonna go. Now this study okay. technique yeah. is to literally become a teacher for the topic. There's actually a lot of evidence out there to show that if you act as an educator, you can actually learn a lot more about the topic as opposed to if you were just to study by yourself. This phenomena is something known as the protege effect where essentially when we teach things, we tend to learn things at the same time. And I can tell you from firsthand experience, being a teacher, some of the things that I teach, I really did not have a very deep grasp on it before I started teaching it. But after teaching something, I really have to get very, very deep and go in very deep detail about a particular topic that I learned the topic on a very new level compared to when I was just a student and I was learning these bits of information. And because teaching a particular topic really makes you understand a topic in a really basic way. And so you can understand it in the more complex version. I think it's a really underrated tip to actually teach someone or attempt to teach someone when trying to learn a particular topic, it's very, very underrated as a study technique that you should try. Now, if you don't have that extra friend, don't worry. These benefits can still be matched if you don't actually teach someone. There's a lot of evidence to show that even if you attempt to teach, like you're preparing to teach someone, you will still learn it in a very deep way rather than if you were to just study it by itself, make notes and highlight all of these different things. The third study technique that I have for you is to to literally quiz yourself as you are studying. One of the benefits when you are doing past papers or past exam questions is that you are constantly actively recalling every single time that you look at a question, you are trying to retrieve information from your brain. And so as you are learning bits of information, put little quizzes up for yourself. Can you actually answer a question or can you actually 
explain to me what it is in a very simple way. If you can't do that, you've probably not committed it to memory yet. And so you should probably go back, revise, use the other techniques that I've talked about today to kind of quiz yourself and get to the level where you can actually answer some of these questions. Now, the thing is, what if you don't actually have any past papers? In science, we don't actually give out a lot of past papers. What you can actually do instead is go to the New South Wales syllabus, going to your year group, going to the subject that you want to study for, you can actually find a bunch of different questions that are normally exam style. It's kind of like explain this, describe this. These are normally the questions that you get inside of your exam. And so the syllabus is created in a way that is very, very similar to an exam styles question. If you can answer every single question inside of the syllabus, you're probably going to do well. Now, my pro tip for you with this study technique is to not actually take notes throughout the term. Now, this sounds really controversial. What you should do instead is to use the syllabus dot points to take notes. Can you answer the syllabus dot points? If you can't, then you probably aren't taking notes properly. You should really think about these questions when taking notes and make sure that your notes are directed towards this. Now, if you're interested in more ways to be better every single day, make sure to check out this video right here or this playlist over here with all my different videos on different ways to be better every single day. I'll see you over there.